Amethyst looks so pretty with this. There are like weird sea creatures in the background. the gays and the days. My name is Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. Apologies in advance for the weird audio. I spilled water on my equipment a couple weeks ago and I think it got into some of my cords. So the audio is straight from my camera, but it shouldn't be much of a problem. Anyways, I got a really interesting video coming at you. If you know anything about my generation, I'm like in between millennial and Gen Z. It's like that awkward area. Any person, millennial, in the middle, or Gen Z is all about aesthetic. We don't shut the hell up about aesthetics and what aesthetic is yours or like looking for new ones and matching your house and your clothes to them. This is especially true because the top two like social media apps for photos and videos or whatever is Instagram and TikTok. Now I personally think Instagram is dying just because it's like a lot more ingenuine, toxic BS now. But TikTok has been on the rise for the past one to two years. All across TikTok, different creators match their content to their aesthetic. And there's everything from vampire core to, what's the one that's like Harry Potter and books and stuff? Oh, academia. Academia is really cool. It's like dark and library and stuff. To pastels, to everything. And mine personally, like I love cottage core. I love pastels. I wanted to see if we could create our own randomly generated aesthetics and then create Pinterest boards on them. So I got my handy dandy phone out. Don't mind the completely damaged screen protector. And I'm going to bring up this website. It is called clairepurslow.github.io. Um, it's a kind of like a sus website. You just, you just go on it. This is a blue screen and then a, a button that says generate. Okay, first one. Crystal spirit aesthetic. Okay, this this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. I think we can work with this Crystal spirit aesthetic. I'm thinking selenite, which is like a, a clearish white crystal I'm thinking every clouds Silvers, maybe like diamonds glittery nail colors, but a lot of white. All right. So with that in mind Let's go to Pinterest and start a new board. Crystal Spirit. So right off the bat, we have some randomly generated photos about crystal and spirit. I think we're gonna get a lot of spiritual stuff because crystals and spirituality go hand in hand. I want to go right to selenite and find a really beautiful picture of a bunch of selenite because that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this. Actually, the amethyst looks so pretty with this. It could be like a white and purple theme. Mm -hmm. I like this a lot. So let's save this to the crystal spirit board. You can see I already have some boards. I tried filming this video another time, like a couple hours ago. It stopped filming 15 minutes in and I filmed for an hour. So I'm in pain, but we're doing it again. So now I want to kind of get a photo of like a wispy ghost spirit, but it being like very light, looks like it's coming down from the heavens. Let's see if we can find that. Why are there so many photos of horses? Yes, yes, it's shimmery water and it's black and white, but just like really exposed black and white. So we can add that in here, I'm thinking, whites and light purples. Let's go with that. I'm also going to look up crystal aesthetic because we might find a lot of photos with that reflective look. Okay, here is some quartz, I think. I'm pretty sure this is quartz. So this also really captures that. So I'm going to add it to crystal spirit. Oh my gosh, all of this is stunning. All of these really capture what I want, except I don't just want basic pictures of up close things. I also want things like dresses and nails. So maybe we can look up white crystal nails. Someone that has this aesthetic must love the color white. Like that's gotta be their favorite color. I like it, but I don't know if that would be my entire aesthetic. I love color and this is kind of muting all of the colors and really putting white at the forefront. Okay, I like this photo a lot. It's not on them, but it shows like the crystal and the white. So let's add this to, I don't know how it's gonna look all coming together, but 
we are trying our best over here. And maybe we can find a wedding dress with a lot of sequins or crystals on it so it looks like it's shimmering when it moves, if we can find a video that is. So if we look up crystal wedding dress, we might be able to find something that fits perfectly. We're gonna have to find the right one though because I don't feel like these work. These are just not glittery enough. Okay, okay, what do you think about this dress? I don't know how it's gonna look with everything all together, but I think this dress is a go-to. So let's add this to the board and then we're gonna see all together. Let's try and get more of that amethyst, white and amethyst jewelry. No, all of that's kind of tacky. A lot of this is tacky. I think crystal spirit is also kind of angelic. So maybe we can look up an angel. Look how gorgeous this picture is. This art is insane. You can find the best stuff on Etsy. Um, eventually when I have the money, I want to have a collection of Etsy art from all the different kinds of artists, but this is super cool. So let's add this here. I don't know what's gonna happen if I look up glitter ghost, but let's see. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, I think for the last photo, we should have something like a crystal ball in a white room. It goes with the spiritual aspect and it goes with the crystal aspect. Let's see if we can find a crystal ball. Okay, I think this one is a really cool picture. It's wispy, like it has that smoke in the background. Um, I think the stand is also pretty badass. So I'm gonna add this and then let's see how our aesthetic looks. We have our crystal spirit aesthetic. Wow, it is ethereal. This is for someone who has really light energy. This would not be my aesthetic. That sounds bad. This wouldn't be my aesthetic just because like I like green in nature. Um, but someone who's really likes white pulls off white really well. This is stunning. And I like the little amounts of purple that are in here, but it's so feminine. I really love it. If this matches your aesthetic, let me know. Cause you can steal it. You can totally steal this as aesthetic. This is like just for fun. But if it does, that'd be really cool. So you should let me know in the comments. All right, so we are back at this main screen with the generator. You can see I didn't touch anything, so everything is random and I have to do whatever is next. We're just gonna see, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Second one is retro witch. So first let's look up the retro aesthetic. It's a lot of like oldies and I would say like 50s, 60s and 70s and then which so we're talking about outfits we're talking about maybe hair um and definitely like spells and crystals but very much an oldies vibe let's make a new board called retro witch oh okay off the bat i really like this photo i think we should have this as our first photo in retro witch but from there it's gonna get a little difficult 50s crystals maybe i found this dress it's on the Lula. It's a vintage prom dress, but I think it goes really well for like a vintage witch. So let's save this and we're gonna just have to see at the end how it all looks. Speaking of vintage witch, that's the next thing that I'm going to look up. This is like a really specific aesthetic, but I'm sure there are some vintage witches out there. Oh yes, okay. So this retro witch can be more into like nature because this photo right here is really old looking. So it's stained with either tea or coffee. So we can save this here and this looks super witchy. I think this also looks very mysterious. It's just a pocket watch, but I think it does give off those darker spiritual like mystery kind of vibes. Aw, I really like this actually. I would personally carry this around. This is really pretty. But I'm gonna add this too and then we're done with jewelry and everything like that. How about we find a vintage mirror in some kind of oldies setting? I think that gives off witchy vibes. There's a lot to choose from. Let's see. What do you think of this? I think this is really pretty though. It may not necessarily be super witchy, but I think combined with everything else, it will. So I'm going to add this to Retro Witch. You can see we have a lot of gold, reds, and like tan neutral colors. I think that is what makes it old and vintage looking. Okay, and lastly, I want to find some vintage candles. 
which is use candle all the time. Ooh, 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 what do you think of that? Oh, I think that's gonna work. Okay, add it to retro witch. What else, what else do witches do? Books, books. This is less, less witchy, but maybe we can find a, another book, a vintage book. What about this? This looks really cute, and I think it also has that mysterious kind of vibe to it. So we're gonna add this to Retro Witch, and let's see how it turned out. I actually wanted to add one last photo, and I found this really cool photo, which is vintage-y, but it looks very industrial. So I'm going to add this. And now let's see the final product. Okay, so this is our retro witch aesthetic. Uh, what do you think of it? I know it's less retro as in like the reds and the pur blues, blues I guess. I'm not super familiar with retro, but I did add like the retro dress and the retro girl down here. I think it ended up being more like vintage Victorian than retro vintage, if that makes sense. But nonetheless, I think it's really cool and it definitely is an aesthetic in itself. Like someone could make this their brand. All right, so we have one last one to do. Hope it's a good one. Ready? Go. We already did spirit, so I'm gonna do like another one. Okay, so we got marine ghost. We already have kind of like a spirit one, but I feel like I know where we can go with marine ghost. I'm thinking less like here's a physical ghost and more like creepy, underwater, deathly. Like this is a dark, gloomy setting. Almost like the water is on top of you and it's in the middle of the night. So let's go back to Pinterest. Marine ghost. Right off the bat, these suggestions not helping. I think what we're gonna look at is under the ocean. So let's first look at that. I think this photo works really well. It's dark, it's kind of creepy. This is almost as if this is the setting of an ocean graveyard, right? So I don't think we're gonna have a literal photo of a ghost or a spirit, but it's going to be like that setting. I also really like this photo. There's like a mermaid in it and there are sunken cities. So let's save that to Marine Ghost. I wonder what happens if we look up underwater graveyard. I don't know if this is gonna do anything, but. Okay, we got a lot of suggestions. That was actually crazy. I think this photo of the skull is so creepy and it works really well. Um, so let's add that to Marine Ghost. But here's the thing, like, it, it has to be someone's aesthetic, so it has to match with someone, so it can't just be a bunch of creepy photos. So we need a dress to fit it maybe, some kind of deep blue walls of a house. I don't know, we need something to make it like fit a person. I think we should have maybe like an underwater statue. I think this one is really awesome. It looks like a mermaid, so marine ghost, got it. Now we need a creepy, dark blue dress. Okay, I looked up gothic blue dresses and a lot came up. So I'm thinking that either this dress will work, but I don't like the white background. I don't know if I want it there. Um, this one is also really cool and it almost looks like water flowing. Let's see, there are a bunch of different dresses. I think this one though is really cool. The other ones are really pretty, don't get me wrong, but this one looks ghost-like because we need that factor. Um, if you see the white at the bottom, it looks like smoke. So I think we should add this. I also just want to look up gothic blue because I think gothic is another word that will really help us. I think this girl with the deep blue hair, like you can't even tell, it looks black, but it's blue. And the blue lipstick, the blue eyes goes really well. So let's add that to marine ghost because it's called marine ghost, but I'm really thinking like dark ocean gothic, something along those lines. I feel like marine ghost is not the word that I would use. I think at the same time though, a moon above the ocean would be a really cool shot and find one of the more intense, creepy photos. I think this one is really cool. I think I'm gonna add this one to it, but I feel like the moon's not big enough, so maybe we should get another one. I feel like this is pretty cool. It's a little lighter, the moon's a little bigger. Now, just for more of an ocean factor, I'm gonna look up creepy ocean and see what comes up. Okay, so we have sirens, sharks, 
weird sea creatures. What the hell? Jellyfish. We have jellyfish. All right. I think this video of this mermaid splashing around is really cool. So we should add it too. I think we should also look up mermaid or siren. Let's do siren because sirens are evil. Sirens uh, underwater. This, this is what we're going for. This is perfect. You have like this mermaid that can be beautiful but really creepy. She's holding a skull. It's dark. There are like weird sea creatures in the background. Our board is definitely deep blues and very pale skin because you never see the light. Lots of skulls and lots of abandoned things. I really love the colors in this. Again, this, this would never be my aesthetic. I'm all like flowers and sunshine and this is not my aesthetic. So we took the two words marine ghost and created this whole aesthetic. Um, I think it turned out really cool. Does it give you like ghosty vibes? Cause that's what I was going with. Maybe I would create my own generator and put in all of the adjectives and stuff because the generator was cool, but at the same time, like, it needed help. It generated some random ass things that you could not work with. In the future, if I want to do this again, I might create my own generator. I don't know how to do it, but I might try. But yeah, let me know if any of these match your vibe. I feel like the first one and the last one were completely different. We got like whites and like angelic going on and then we had like deep dark skulls and drowning <laughs> all right well thank you so so much for watching my video if you want to see more from me don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notifications every single time that i post and i will see y'all in the next one bye guys